Hi, Cole here from Storytelling with Data. When communicating with data or communicating anything, really, you play such an important role in that process. Today, I'd like to share a book that will guide you through how to do this in an engaging and effective manner. Let me grab it off the shelf. It's my new book, Storytelling With You, Plan, Create, and Deliver a Stellar Presentation. This is actually the very first copy off of the press. I got to take a fun trip a couple weeks back to Versailles, Kentucky with my husband where it printed. And I made friends there who were kind enough to overnight me the finished product when it all came together. So if I think about the context for writing this book and why it in particular is relevant today, one thing that's become increasingly apparent to me in the past decade plus that I've spent teaching people how to make graphs that make sense is that the graph, the visual, is only one part of that equation. You the person presenting, communicating, you are the other. And it is a critical part. You might be able to make a great graph, but if you can't talk through that in a way that makes people want to listen, there's a great amount of value that gets lost. And this extends beyond communicating with data specifically to communicating anything. If you can't talk about your work in a way that makes people want to listen, you'll be limited in the impact that you can have. The good news is we can all learn to do this. The skill to speak confidently is not one that I started out with, quite the opposite. In fact, I was the shaky voice introvert, much more comfortable behind my computer than in front of a crowd. But because I had a mission that I wanted to share, I needed to learn to be better. So I worked on this. I used and I still use every opportunity I'm speaking with people, whether it's a meeting or a workshop, standing on stage. Every one of those instances is an opportunity to get input and learn and refine. And that process is what I guide you through in storytelling with you. Let's take a look inside. So I'm going to start first with the table of contents. You can see we're organized here into three main sections, plan, create, and deliver. The plan section I think of as all of the low tech preparation that you can do to really gain a better understanding of the situation in which you need to communicate. There are chapters specifically on audience, how do you get to know them, prioritize your target audience, tailor different aspects of your communication with your audience's needs in mind, crafting your message, getting succinct and clear on that point you need to get across. Compile the pieces goes in depth into the process of brainstorming and storyboarding, which then become the components that you can use in chapter four to form a story. In the create section, we move our low tech planning into our tools with a chapter on setting the style and structure. And this gets into the really pragmatic steps of creating a slide master and picking colors and fonts and really setting up the structure for your presentation before you start to add content. And then the next few chapters get into how you can build stellar content, whether it's words, graphs, or images. From there, after forming materials that will support us, we turn attention to ourselves. 
and really understand how to practice to refine how you speak, uh, specific ways to build confidence. There's an entire chapter devoted to the art of the introduction, which actually becomes a really interesting and personal case study where you can apply each of these strategies and lessons. So even if you don't have an important presentation or meeting on the horizon, you can still practice and gain value from doing these steps. And the final chapter is have a stellar session. Let's just flip through the book a bit and I will show you a few things. So we start off in the yellow section. You can kind of see what's going on here by the page edges of the book. Actually, I'm going to pause on chapter four, which gets into forming a story. And I actually go deeper into story here than I've done in any other settings or in either of the other books with a really solid understanding of both why we would use story in a business setting and, and what that means. The structure of story gets into some different views, starting out with very basic plot twist ending, go through the narrative arc, which will be familiar for those who follow our other work, Freytag's Pyramid, and then what I like to call the Jagged Mountain. I just want to read you a short excerpt here. The jagged mountain could encapsulate every up and down over the course of narrative, or bringing this back to business, every oscillation through the duration of our project. While all of these ups and downs may be critical to keeping our attention over a 400 page book or a two hour movie, it's rare that you have this much time or attention span from your audience in a work setting. Additionally, we don't necessarily need to convey the comprehensive story. Different audiences will care about disparate levels of detail. The exec might only want the basic story or high-level arc. The finance partner will be interested in a completely distinct set of peaks, merging into a widely varying storyline or narrative than what you would use to communicate to the marketing lead. This goes on to say, when we are the ones communicating, we generally must have a good sense of all or most of the peaks. From them, we should be able to identify and weave together the specific subset that will work for others. To say this another way, you are not telling your story. You are forming a story for your audience. I'll just flip through some of the pages from here. So we finish out the yellow section and then we get into blue, starting with setting style and structure. It's where we see how to build a slide master and navigation scheme, chapters on words. Uh, let's see, we'll get into some data and images. And then we get into our final section, deliver. And I just wanted to show you my favorite chapter in the book is chapter 10, build your confidence. And I'm not going to show you the details. I'll leave those for you to explore. But this was a fun chapter. I, I wrote it late in the game and actually for a long time didn't know exactly what it was going to be. I was documenting ideas that would come up as I was writing other sections. And then I apply much of what I teach here to my writing as well. In particular, storyboarding, which we get into in chapter three of the book. But this is the storyboard from chapter 10. So a lot of brainstorming and rearranging over time went into this. And some of these sticky notes end up becoming section titles and ideas for examples and so forth. It's a fun relic of the planning process. So actually, let's flip to the end here, just to again, give you a sense of the look and feel. Uh, and actually, I build in a case study to a final presentation at the end. And that full slide deck is included at the end of the book. Uh, I am also going to be giving this presentation. So if you are watching this before September 22nd, 2022, I invite you to join the worldwide premiere of that final presentation. If you're tuning in after September 2022, you can watch the video. I'm curious, given this brief overview, what are you most excited to learn from storytelling with you?
What challenges do you face when you are communicating? Leave a comment and we'll send some fun swag to a few people who take the time to share. I'd be thrilled to have you add storytelling with you to your library. Also check out the site we've created to support it at storytellingwithyou.com. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.